So what I like to do is I like to take this tub and I want it to be more than just a static block because what I have is I have three or four different versions of this tub and I don't really want to define four different block definitions. So there's kind of two ways of doing this. The first one is I could go to the insert tab and what I could do is just start the block editor directly. So I could actually start the block editor um, by picking it from the ribbon there and what I can do is come in here and just say okay this is going to be tub and I'm going to click OK and it's going to put me into the block editor environment. So what I could do is, is using um, regular geometry I could come in here and actually create my block. So let's just uh, real quick here since I've already defined my block in a different fashion let's just create a rectangle let's go uh, 72 by 30 to lay out the additional the original tub and I'm going to use an ellipse and let's uh, snap this let's turn our um, midpoint object snaps on here and I'm going to snap and track this ellipse in there and there's my tub now I haven't added any dynamic portions of it but when I close this now it's going to ask me to save the tub and what it's done now is built that tub for me. So now if I go into my insert, I pick tub, what I can see is that I'm able to create um, the block in that fashion and start my dynamic block that way. The other fashion that I could do is actually use the regular create block function. So by using the regular block function, let's call this um, my tub. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my insertion point. So I'm actually going to pick the midpoint along the back there. I'm going to select my object, so it's really no different than, than a regular block. Um, I am going to allow exploding. I am going to force it to scale uniformly. And what I'm going to do is actually open it in the block editor. So at that point then what I could do is assign um, the different dynamic aspects of it. So I'm going to click OK and what we can see is it automatically pushed it into the block editor. And from here what I'm able to do is add in the different um, dynamic block properties um, and attributes and different values to make it dynamic. Now if you happen to close it before making all the desired changes you can take any block any block whether you you built it as dynamic or not and when you right click on it you can actually fire it up in the block editor so it's kind of a a, a great method to go in there and add geometry and add attributes and, and it's just a different method than using that in block in place. One caution is, is once you've got your block made dynamically, do not use the edit block in place because what this will do is it will strip away um, all the dynamic aspect of it. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick block editor and what we can see is that it's put me into the um, block um, editor where I can go through and, and define my dynamic um, aspects of this block.